want to determine the measure of the largest angle in this triangle given the length of three sides. Well, the largest angle will be across from the longest side, and since this is the longest side, this is the angle we want to determine the measure of. Now we can use the law of cosines to determine the measure of this angle. The law of cosines is usually expressed three different ways. If we want to use this form of the law of cosines, we're going to want to label this angle here, angle A, for the angle that we'll use. So if this is angle A, then the opposite side will be side A, and the other two sides that form angle A will be sides B and side C in no particular order. Let's go ahead and call this B, and we'll call this C. And now we can go ahead and apply the law of cosines. So we're going to have A squared, or 26 squared, equals B squared plus C squared, or 10 squared, plus 23 squared, minus 2 times B, times C, times the cosine of angle A. So now we'll simplify this and then solve for cosine A. 26 squared is 676, 10 squared is 100, 23 squared is equal to 529. Here we're going to have minus 2 times 10 times 23, that's going to be 460 times cosine A. Now we need to be a little bit careful here. This 460 is attached to the cosine by multiplication. So we can add these two, but we can't subtract 460. So we'll have 676 equals, this will be 629 minus 460 times cosine A. And now we can subtract 629 on both sides. This will be zero. Here we're going to have 47 equals negative 460 times cosine A. So now we'll divide by negative 460. So we have negative 47 over 460 is equal to cosine A. Now we can solve for A if we take inverse cosine on both sides. So on the right side, inverse cosine of cosine A is just equal to A. And now we can use the calculator to evaluate the left side. Let's make sure our calculator is in degree mode. So we'll go to the third row and highlight degree, press enter. Go back to the home screen. Now I'll press second cosine, and then we'll type in negative 47 divided by 460. So angle A is approximately 95.9 degrees. Now if we need to determine the measure of the two other angles, we could use the law of sines to determine one other angle. And then since we know the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees, we could determine the measure of the third angle by subtracting them from 180 degrees. But we have answered the question.